Hi, and welcome to the course on building your own DVR. My name is Cody Ray Miller, and in this course, I'm going to be showing you how you can take a spare computer, install a very simple card into that computer, and then you can watch television using Linux and a program called Myth TV. So you'll be able to pause live television, skip past commercials, rewind. Uh, you'll be able to program recordings, so your favorite television shows, certain channels at certain times. You can specify, just like on a DVR, uh, whether you want to record new episodes of shows only or include reruns. You can do all of that just like you would with any fully featured DVR using the power of Linux and Myth TV. Now, there are a few things that you'll need, obviously, in order to build your own DVR, and you want to make sure that you have these things before purchasing the course and proceeding on. The first thing that you'll need is a spare computer. So I have one here. This is the spare computer that I will be using. It's actually a computer that I specifically designed and built to use as a media PC. So it has a lay flat case design. You don't need anything this fancy. You don't have to uh, build a computer specifically for creating this DVR. You can use a spare computer. However, it is important that you have a connection for your antenna. So this computer here, as I turn it around, you can see this computer here has a coax connector in the back. And that's because it has a TV capture card installed. Now, if you don't have a TV capture card, don't worry. I'm going to show you how you can get one, and they're not all that expensive. So you can take any spare computer that you have, and you'll install a TV capture card, which I'll show you how to do, and then you can hook up your digital antenna here. Now, you'll also need a graphics card that supports whatever monitor or television that you're planning on using. So if you want to hook your DVR up to a big screen TV, for example, then you'll need an HDMI connection, or you can have an adapter that goes from DVI to HDMI, and of course, you'll need some sort of audio output. You can see I have a standalone audio card installed here. Now again, this is just an overview of what you'll need so that you're prepared. This is not explaining how we're gonna get all of this done. Right now, all you need to know is that you need a spare computer, you will need a TV capture card, and you will potentially need either a new graphics card or a graphics adapter in order to hook the computer up to a television, unless you're planning on using a regular computer monitor as your screen, which you can certainly do. Now, in addition to that spare computer, you're also going to need a simple USB thumb drive, this is a very simple USB 2.0 16 gigabyte thumb drive, nothing fancy there. And you'll need some sort of digital TV antenna. Yet again, this doesn't need to be anything fancy. I picked this one up at Walmart for about $20. So a simple TV antenna, which has the coax connector here that you can see. And it's also important that you understand this course is going to be covering digital TV over the air, how you can pipe that into your computer, use it as a DVR to play, rewind, fast forward, and record television. This is not going to be covering cable. So if you have cable or a satellite dish, I'm not going to be covering how you would hook that up to your media PC. And the reason for that is that there's a lot of encryption and there's a lot of licensing issues. But with digital over the air television, we can just pull that signal down and very easily we can record it. Now, finally, you may want some sort of wireless keyboard and or mouse. Unfortunately, this wireless keyboard and mouse combo, you can see the mouse here is more like a remote control and actually there's a mouse built in here to the keyboard as well. Unfortunately, these models are discontinued. They're very hard to find. They're from In Media PC, and I'll be sure to give you the model information in case you'd like to look for them. But any wireless keyboard or mouse will work, and of course it doesn't have to be wireless, but if you're planning on sitting your on your couch to watch TV, then it'd probably be a good idea for you to have some sort of remote control that you can connect to your computer. There are, of course, many solutions to that problem, and I'll cover that in a later module. 
Now, finally, let me just talk about why you might want to build your own DVR and why you would want to build it on the Linux platform with MythTV. The reason you might want to do that is that Windows is really moving away from their media center. Media Center was not available in Windows 8 automatically, but you could purchase it for $9.99. Windows 10 does not have Media Center at all. The TV guide for Media Center, for those of you who are using Vista, Windows 7, or you paid for it on Windows 8, that guide has shifted over to another service and slowly Microsoft is dismantling that program and that product. So sooner or later, Windows Media Center users will have to migrate. Linux is a great free alternative to the Windows Media Center when you combine it with Myth TV. I'll show you how to do it yet again. No prior experience with Linux or Myth TV or DVRs of any kind is required, but we are going to have a lot of fun in this course. I'll walk you through everything step by step. Let's get started now with creating your own DVR using Linux and Myth TV.